Mr. Sandhöfner, we are here at Interpark 2011 in front of an uh, interesting demonstrator of a tri with two tripods. So what are you showing here? We show two tripods which are operated out of one single controller. The tripod is very specific because we can show the dynamics. The dynamics is generated by dynamic motors but also by very dynamic mechanics with light white fiber optics design. The specific VNR characteristics of the demonstration is that we have combined kinematics out of one CPU with integrated safety functions. The integrated safety functions enable the user to limit, for example, the speed. So we are able to run functions like safe limited speed. We are able to run functions like safe limited increment or safe direction. And here we've got about 20 safety functions, which are TUV certified, which can be used by machine builders to make their machine safer. One specific characteristic of the BNR control system is that it offers very fast reaction times. With the fast reaction times, you're able to first stop much faster if an unsafe event has happened, get the machine into a safe reaction and therefore for example you would be able to limit the distance from when an unsafe event happened to when the machine has come to a standstill from a general solution with an external controller which takes about 200 millimeters to just four or five millimeters with the integrated BNR safety controller. And that is one of the main advantages of the BNR system, that is speed. And how can the machine builder use this speed? He can use the speed first to get higher productivity of the machine. The other possibility is to get the fencing much closer to the process. So that adds functionality, adds flexibility for the user to use the machine to operate the machine. So in total, you save floor space, you save cost and you bring more flexibility to the operation of the machine. Is it also, uh, impossible, uh, is it also possible to uh, have another way of uh, maintenance and uh, another way of uh, setting up the machine? It is possible with the integrated setup of the safety technology to configure safety via the HMI. You would be able to, for example, define specifically which optional modules of the machine are linked to that specific configuration you have in place. We would be able to automatically interface to the modules and recognize the modules in the field. But of course, since we are talking about safety modules, it's, it's important to really know that a system has that specific safety module in the field and therefore you need the configuration via the screen because only with the configuration via the screen you can make sure that if the system doesn't detect a certain module in the field it knows it's supposed to be there and it's not supposed to go into operation before the module is recognized. This is what you need and understand under safe operation. And how do the motors are communicating with each other? Motors and drives use open safety and Ethernet power link as their communication layer and communication profile. Open safety is a system which can be run on any single bus system and communication system. Powerlink enables to, is an ideally communication system for open safety because it is possible to communicate safe signals peer to peer. That means you save time to communicate a signal from one station to the other station without having to go via a centralized controller, which adds a delay in timing of the system. And the big advantage here is, for example, that you can directly interface communication from a safe I.O. module or a safe motion controller, system motion control drive in the system back to the safe controller without having to go via a centralized station and that speeds up communication by up to a factor of five. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Sandhöfer. Thank you as well.